What's up guys, the Panthers here and welcome back to another episode of Draft 2 Glory. Some stuff has changed dudes. Um, first and foremost, you love it when I say that guys, don't you? First and foremost, Prime R9 and Prime Ronaldinho, Prime Moments versions of those have been put into the draft. I hope they're there for a long time. I hope they're there forever like the other Prime Moments that we see in there. I hope EA add all of the Prime Moments in there, but they're there. Um, also, if you're enjoying Draft of Glory and you could drop a thumbs up, that'd be a super awesome. Uh, this is my third attempt at making this video because I'm yet to get one of the prime cards, right? And I, I want one of them for the sake of the video. And on, on these formations, if I take this formation, we have a good chance or a better chance of getting Prime R9. If we take this, we've got a better chance of getting Ronaldinho. So he's not necessarily my favorite formation here, but I hope to, for us to get one of those. Two other changes have come in. Oh, let's go. Look at the cap. Changes have come in, and I want to use this screen as a good time to talk about it, right? First of all, EA seem to have buffed rewards, okay? So I woke up today to some tweets from some people who were just getting insane rewards every time they won the draft for the, like the first time ever. So I put the feelers out there. A lot of people agreed. I spoke to a couple of the guys that I know uh, that win draft all the time. Uh, one guy that I know is called Julius. He's won the draft like over 200 times now. And he doesn't really get great rewards. He gets like me, the two rare gold packs, right? He said his first draft on stream today, he got a 50k pack, a mega pack, and a 15k pack from his first reward, right? I also talked to Lewis H90, who is a pro player. Um, he's a top 100 level player. He's won over 300 drafts between Xbox and PlayStation this year. And uh, I asked him, and he said, first, two dra first draft, he got two gold packs and two premium player packs, which isn't even the worst reward. It, the two rare gold packs is the worst reward. Um, and then his second draft, he got the coins, the 50k pack and the jumbo premium gold pack, which is the second time he's got that in four draft wins. And he's only ever had it once before in all of his 300 draft wins. So I think EA have buffed rewards or, or not necessarily buffed them. They've changed the drop rate of the best rewards versus the worst rewards. You know, I've won the draft 74 times and I've got that rare gold pack reward like genuinely at least 50 to 55 times right which i think is disgusting we've talked about it a little bit um i, I think what ea have done I, I i'm not gonna say that you can't necessarily not get the bad rewards still i just think the success rate of getting the good rewards is going to be higher so i you know maybe i win the draft and i get nothing on top of that Something that I've noticed whilst trying to get this Ronaldinho and the, the Ronaldo is they've changed chem styles on the players. Now, I know Harry Kane here has a, sh a shadow chem style on him, but generally speaking, attackers used to have defensive chem styles and defenders used to have offensive chem styles and midfielders was just all over the place. And what it seems now is that attackers generally have attacking chem styles. Defenders generally have defensive chem styles with the odd anomaly here or there. And if you look at Socrates... He's got a catalyst. That's a midfielder's chem style on a midfielder. Lippmann with the artist, a midfielder's chem style on a midfielder. Maradona with basic. And then Ronaldinho with the hunter chem style. And we're going to take him because he's there now, which is obviously amazing. And uh, you'll see as we build this draft, probably not every time. Ooh, Pele there. But look at the difference. No shadows, no backbones, no sentinels on my strikers. We have a catalyst. Is that a dead eye? A, a marksman, a hunter, a sniper, and a sniper. So five attacking-minded chem styles on my five attackers. So EA have done something in draft. They're not telling anyone that they've done something in draft because, no, that would just be far too difficult for EA. And, and once again here, hunter, catalyst, hawk, deadeye, marksman. Five attacking chem styles for five attacking players. And we're going to take, because of the skillers that we've already got, we're going to take Riyad Mahrez there as well. And... It, like, I'm actually very happy that EA have made these changes because I think they're changes that should have been in the game. Now, as I said, for midfielders, it still seems to be all over the place. They don't seem to typically be midfielder-based chem souls. Um, let's take Adrissa Gay there as well. Uh, yeah, let's take Adrissa Gay. Um, but I'm very happy with these changes. I, I think they're positive changes for the draft. I'm already playing the draft a lot anyway. This is going to get me into playing it even more. Um, but what I will say is, why don't they just tell us about it? Why don't they just note it down? Oh my god, another see Busquet. Oh, that that Busquets. That's a good card, isn't it? The pace, the reaction. I've got to take him. 
I know Frank Reichardt is there. That Busquets is just levels, man. He is levels. And this draft is shaping up to be quite nice if we can get another couple of uh, high-end midfielders. Ooh, although... But look, look again here, guys. I, I just want to... I know I've like going over the same point over and again. Five defenders, five... De well, basic Kemstar Mendy, Anchor, which is defensive, Shadow, which is defensive, Sentinel on Gulan, which is defensive, and then Gladiator on Robertson, which improves defending and shooting. It, it, it is, I think that might be in the midfield or the other section, but... That's where we're at. I'm gonna take. Uh, I'm gonna take Robertson because we can put Adrissa, We can put him over at right back should we need to with Adrissa Gay. Oh my god, what is the luck right here? Now we've got two anomalies here. We do have hunters on Lukaku and Maldini, but we also do have defensive chem styles on a couple, and it's just better than normal. Normally, it, you don't see. Give me that Bobby Moore again. Normally, you don't see. Um, do I take Dave here with the shadow chem style? He's a bit short. But it really helps all around because we can even play him. Oh, yeah, if we swap. Yeah, we're going to take him because we swap those around. It's going to give Robbo a little little chem point and then Maldini is going to help. Now, if we can get Trent, obviously, that'd be amazing, but we didn't. Um, Cedric, I suppose, will take. This draft is absolutely mental so far as well. The three icons that I've got are very, very big. That David De Gea is coming into the team now as well. 98 chemistry, 89 rated. And we've, we've got some big improvements that we can make. And what I'm not going to do from this point going forwards, guys, give me Yashin. Ooh, Lehman I'll take. I know he's not as good as David De Gea, um, but that's our fourth icon. So I'm, I'm happy to push the icons into this draft. Oh, that's nice as well. That Hector Bellerin, way better than Cedric. Um, yeah, this isn't necessarily going to be the highest rated draft that you're ever going to see. Come on, give me something big. Ooh. Alexandro now, if we put him in, swap Maldini and Azpilivili around, <coughs> that will work quite well. Um, do that, do that. 98 chemistry still. If we can get rid of Kondogbia and Idrissa Gay, this team is genuinely high level. Ooh, choices here. Parejo would be very good for chemistry. He would give Busquets full chem and he would get full chem. But Neymar is such a tank that I can't not take him. And we only lose one chem point because he's a cam instead of a centre mid, which I'm very happy with. Next up, we are getting some monsters here. Casemiro's got to go in, right? And Busquets can go in as well. That's brilliant. That I tell you what, guys, this team is nuts. Mares is a little bit off chem. Busquets is a little bit off chem. Everybody else is on full chem. And, the, and, and look at that again, Casemiro with a shadow chem style. I, I'm telling you guys, I personally feel like EA have just changed some stuff. Um, that doesn't matter anymore, what we take there. Come on, give me that Ronaldo, man. Ooh, Quincy Promes. Yeah, he works. Doesn't have the five-star... No, does he have five-star skill moves? Yeah, he does have five-star skill moves. So we can pop him up there. Everybody gets full chem. Except Busquets, who needs one more link, obviously. I knew that, you knew that, we all knew that. Um... That's pretty damn good. What are we going to get in our reserves here? Now, this isn't necessarily my favorite formation. <laughs> so I don't know how good we're going to do with it based on that. But this team is bonkers. Oh, man, this team just got even more bonkers. Lionel Messi coming in is going to give Busquets full chem. And now that's everyone on full chem. And we have got Mares and Promes as our subs. This, this uh, like might not be the highest rated draft I've ever built, but this might end up being one of the best drafts I've ever built. Do I want Trent as well? No, because he doesn't link. I'm going to take him, but he, he doesn't link with the people that we need him to link with. Unless we get a team of the year, Van Dyke popping up here, which we're not. We're going to get our silvers. And here's our last pick for this draft. I'm so happy we've got at least Ronaldinho. Oh, Pierre. Oh, Pierre. We have got some great subs here, guys. Promes, Mares, and Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang for subs is just great. And, and Messi will have to get subbed off because he just doesn't have the stamina for it, right? So Messi for probably Aubameyang for me personally. What a draft that is. What are we missing here for chemistry? We just need a Brazilian or a French league manager. And we have got 10 chemistry on every player just like that. Every single player 10 chem. An absolutely brilliant draft that we put together here. We finally got ourselves uh, prime icon moments of Ronaldinho. Hopefully, we can get Ronaldo coming up soon. 
I, this draft is good. Let's see what we can do with it. All right, guys. So as we get into the gameplay, the first opponent we come up against has got a 90 rated 90 chemistry team, but some absolutely banging players in there. Team of the Year, Neymar and Modric. Prime moments, Moore and Maldini. Gareth Bale's Champions League card and Ben Yedder with a five-star week for FFS Bentancur, Inform Cancelo, Headliner uh, Alexandro in at left back. And pretty much this whole draft was crosses, corners and kickoff goals. That was it. There wasn't really many goals scored outside of those methods. There was a few in there here and there. Um, but I think the, the whole crossing meta and, and the whole, um, you know, scoop shots and scoop volleys and... and headers and crosses essentially which is uh might be down to the game mode that ea put in outside of ultimate team it's becoming far more popular and I, I never really see people do scoop shots or scoop crosses ever ultimately um and even el tornado and um balassi flick crosses are very rare but the last couple of days in draft specifically i've been seeing it a hell of a lot more so i, I guess it's like starting to become the commonly known thing just like you know if, if you remember back to the start of the game um moving the goalkeeper and the swivel shot time finesses were just all everything every, everyone did it that was that was it that's all everyone did and it slowly got itself into draft into rivals into champs just everywhere and uh, it was okay because you know you could still find your ways around it the better players would usually still win not always the case in fifa but just typically speaking and then ea patched it and people just have generally not really found competent confident ways to score which is why i think the whole drop back um fast build-up meta came about because people were just so scared to concede because they knew that they couldn't really score that they just relied on sitting back well with now with the crossing specifically and the fact that you can just bang volleys from the top of the box and score pretty much every time that doesn't even really work that well anymore i, I don't really mind too much now if i see somebody on you know one depth and drop back because i know that i could just kind of hold the ball 30 yards from goal wait for the crossing opportunity or the volley opportunity and score a goal and what that's caused now is it's caused those kind of people to figure out new ways to score goals or, or play the game due to the fact that it's not really a viable way to score. As with any meta, it becomes really powerful until people either figure out the counters to it or until EA nerf it. And the drop back one depth meta was definitely something that people figured out that was very overpowered. Pretty much until people, as I say, figured out the counters to it. And the counters are absolutely crossing and volleys or first time timed shots just in general they're very strong very overpowered um and so now what you're seeing is you're seeing even just the half decent people that are on social media a lot and such uh they're finding out the new ways and the new ways include the overpowered mechanics that i've been using since at least january sadly i'm just not good enough to make them useful to me to the point where i could actually get into elite one levels or or higher um, but into the semi-final we go, guys. Come up against another really good team. Every team we come up against in the draft so far, absolutely brilliant. He's got the foot birthday, Griezmann and Salah. He's got prime moments, Giggs, Lineker and Yashin. And just to explain how bad Giggs is in this game, he subbed him off very quickly for Neymar. A prime moment icon getting removed from the game very early on. Um, didn't really matter, make any difference for him anyway. We end up scoring the first goal here. Pele gets out to Ronaldinho. Fake shot into a Magidi spin and then a driven shot into the far corner to get the first goal and very quickly came goals number two three and four the ball in again here to Ronaldinho he gets in with the La Croqueta I could have um scooped that to myself there but he left me with so much space that I didn't need the overpowered shot just a regular shot was fine a scoop volley cross to a header from Pele makes it three and that is where that guy decided to rage quit and it sends us into the final and I was excited at this point because now I get to see whether or not I get boosted rewards or not and into the final we'll come up against a monster squad Eusebio best Maldini and Giggs prime moments 96 Messi 94 Neymar team of the year Marcelo and inform Cancelo Buffon in goal Miranda being pretty much the only weak spot and Arthur's not even that bad it's not a great card but he has four star skill moves uh we scored a kickoff goal as I said this you know this game just full of kickoffs and crosses we scored a kickoff goal to the back post keeper mishandles it and Aubameyang is there to tap that one home however we conceded a kickoff goal uh, he scored straight after I scored to make it 1-1. Uh, Cuts inside there with Neymar. I just didn't get close enough to him in the box. And he made it 1-1 there. And then to win the game um, in the 65th minute, we go down the left-hand side into Ronaldinho. I know I've got a Bamiang on the far post now that can do things that Messi can't. So I flip it out to him. The keeper hesitates. So Bamiang gets there first and scores to take us home in the draft. So that, guys, is going to be the end of the gameplay. A really good draft win. That was a really good opponent in the final as well. Let's get in 
to the packs. All right, guys. So we end up getting a draft win here today. So much fun to play with this draft. A couple of really tough opponents in there as well. Ronaldinho is spectacular. Having the meta players just helps so much. And I had to take Messi off quite earlier than I wanted to in most games to get Aubameyang on. And it worked because Aubameyang scored a lot of goals for me, specifically back post headers from the overpowered crossing mechanics that are available. Um, Ronaldinho was the star of the show. He really was. What's really cool is that we've now won our 75th draft. Last year, I think I got to 96 draft wins in total. We're not even at team of the season yet. Uh, if I don't get at least another 25 draft wins this year, I'll be a little bit upset. Now's the test, dudes. Now's the test. Do we get our better, better rewards or not? Is it everybody else getting lucky or is it everyone? No, and I get the same crap again. Two rare gold packs and a premium gold pack. You can't make it up. This, this must be close to 60 times. 55 at least, 60 times potentially that we got that reward. I was really hoping for and expecting something. You know, a lot of people have been telling me that the rewards have been buffed. They're getting decent stuff. Um, not necessarily the items in the pack, obviously. Just more specifically, the actual packs themselves. Obviously, you know, we could open one of these rare gold packs and hit an icon. You know, the, the contents of the pack isn't really what's important here. What's important here is that once again, I've been shafted. Um, I, hopefully the next draft will give us something amazing because this one, we're not even going to get boards. And th this is the worst reward, the worst one. I am very tempted to go back through every single draft that I've done and uh, send it forward to Cam Cars. Nice, that's 5k. Yeah, 5k, we'll take that. Um, that, that means we're going to make profit here with all, all, you know, squad fitness cards. I think they're like 1600 right now. Yeah, they might even be a little bit higher. No, 1600, 1500 maybe. Cam to center mid is like, what, 3k almost. Jesus, we'll, uh, we'll pop that in as well. Um, we're obviously going to make profit here, but it just sucks, man. It sucks. I suppose in, in the sense of what Draft the Glory is about. Draft the Glory is about making profit, and we've done that here today. But in terms of winning yet another draft... And getting screwed with the worst rewards yet again is tough to take. I just want to get some cool stuff like everybody else. We get boards here out of this pack, though. So hopefully an 84 or an 85. Portuguese is always good. A cam it is going to be an 84, but it's not from a good league. Um, so sadly, it's not going to be one of the higher valued 84 rated cams. Uh, we get 83 Lucas Lieva in there as well. Oh, he's actually not bad. Five and a half K or so. One, two, three, four. We'll pop him up like that. We, we've made some good profit off of this draft, to be fair. With another couple of squad fitness cards in here uh, that we can just pop up and get 14, 1500 coins immediately for. That's nice. With the other, you know, Centerfold's cam card and the other position modifier. Uh, an 84 that sold quite nicely. And Lucas Lieva, who's also going to sell for like 2.5k. That's, that's a lot. Of, we, we probably made 10, 15,000 coins altogether off this draft, which is pretty decent. Um, but for me, at least in that draft... The drop rates haven't changed at the good rewards. This is going to be the end of the video. If you did enjoy it, be sure to leave a like, rating, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. But for now, guys, I'm out. Peace.